Hello everyone! In this video I will show you a simple way how to create a homing missile for your Unity game. First I add a rocket which will be our target. Add a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to zero and collision detection set to continuous. Add a box collider and edit it a bit. Our target needs a script. Let's have a look at it. In the beginning, we have some variables which are rigid body 2D, boolean moving right, and vector 3 local scale. In start method, we get rigid body 2D component and set local scale variable to transform local scale. In update method, we check rocket's position, so if rocket reaches any of the edges of the screen, then we reverse its move direction. In fixed update method, we just say where to move, to the left or to the right. In move right and move left methods, we change sprite x axis scale to opposite one, so our rocket is turned towards it goes. Also we give a corresponding velocity to rigid body. Add the script to the rocket. Next let's make our missile. Add rigid body component with gravity scale set to zero and collision detection set to continuous. Add a box collider, check its trigger option and edit it a bit. Ok. Missile needs a script. Here we have target game object, public explosion game object and rotation speed. Then quaternion rotate to target goes and vector 3 direction and rigid body to the variable. In start method we find our target first and then get rigid body component. Then all the magic happens in update method. First we get direction to target, then we calculate an angle to it, then assign target quaternion, then set rotation to our missile. And finally we set a velocity towards our target. Last method is on trigger under 2D, so if missile hits something, then it instantiates an explosion and destroy itself. Add the script to missile. Now we need an explosion. Let's create a simple one. Add an explosion sprite. Go to animation window and create new animation for it. Click record button and change explosions transform scale for the first frame to 0.1. Then slide timeline marker to the last frame and change scale back to 1. Modify number of samples so our animation goes faster. Select animation and uncheck loop time so animation will play only once. We need missile and explosions to be a prefabs, so drag and drop them to the project folder. Then delete them from hierarchy. Select missile prefab and drag and drop the explosion prefab to the corresponding slot of missile script. Explosion prefab needs a little script. Here it is. The script just destroys its game object in half of a second. Add the script to explosion prefab. Next let's create a new empty game object and name it missile spawner. This game object will have a script. Here in the script we have a condition, so if we click mouse button somewhere on the screen, then we instantiate the missile at this position. Missile also is rotated by 90 degrees in Z axis, so it looks upward. Add the script to missile spawner. Then select missile spawner and drag and drop missile prefab to missile slot of spawner script component. That's it. Let's hit play and see what we've got.
Thank you for watching. See you next time.